Hello, welcome to a sunny day and another video about these camouflage camo covers we've got on these lenses. So here we have the Canon 800RF F11 STM IS lens, fully camoed out. Um, and, and it basically gives you a full camo camouflage covering with neoprene uh, rubber to protect your lens and keep it in good order. And it also has a Velcro strap around the extension part um, just so that you can uh, keep it fully camoed while you're out in the field and protect your lens. So let's just put that back on like so. Um, and I think it protects the lens nicely and will protect it from the elements. Because it's not a weather sealed lens it is a good idea to have some sort of protection on your lens. Now here we have the Sigma 150 to 600. Now originally I had a problem with some of the uh, covering on the front here. This this part here of the lens barrel um, was a bit too long. So I reached out to the company called uh, lenscamo.co.uk and they said we'll rectify that problem and send you out another one which is cut um, a bit better and it fits on there nicely. And also on this extension part of the lens where it zooms um, it, it wasn't fitting properly if you check out the previous video I did um, it was a bit loose so I reached out to them and said is there anything you can do because it don't quite fit properly so lenscamo.co.uk were really um, easy to contact and talk to um, and they said no problem we'll sort that problem out for you and we sent, he sent me another one and it fits nicely as you can see on there um, so um, I just want to say a big thank you to lenscamo.co.uk because um, this is a good setup and what's unique about this because there are other companies out there they do a cut out there for the actual control on, on your lens there such as your uh, limiter, your autofocus switches, the optical stabiliser your custom settings are all accessible um, because you have a cut out there um, and I, th I think it's, it's a good covering to have on your lens to protect it. Um, the only modification I had to make on the RF lens to be able to actually fit this um, mount that I got from China it's, if you're interested it's called the THRF 680 eye shoot um, mount that you can buy. It's only £30 um, and then what to do is, is cut a, a square in the European cover there as you can see hopefully you can see that better in the video I had to cut it out so it fits on there snugly because originally there was just a small little hole uh, for fitting uh, you know a tripod um, on, on there um, but I felt that I wanted something like this so I was able to hold it like this and then I can actually, um, you know, focus holding it like that easier than having my hand on on the barrel. So that's why this um, mount you can buy is really handy. And they also supply an Allen key because there are holes are on the actual wheel there to, for tightening to make it even tighter so it doesn't shift or move. So that's a good thing that was supplied um, by LensCamo.co.uk. So I, I just want to say a big thank you. Now, I do have my Canon 100 to 400 Mark II here. Um, now, Wildlife Supplies, um, .co.uk, supplied the original uh, covering, but over time I've misplaced some of the bits. Um, so I reached out to them and said, Can you give me another one? And he said, Unfortunately, we've stopped supplying it. So I reached out to lenscamo.co.uk and said, Listen, is there anything you can do to help me out? we've put in a covering on this lens to complete the package because I don't have anything for the lens hood and uh, the rear of the actual um, lens. Um, so in the post today I received um, a complete kit for the 100-400 Mark II um, and I just want to say a big thank you to lenscamo.co.uk for supplying that um, at no cost so I really appreciate that so I'll put links in the description box guys if you want to get either of these three for your lens and I will do a, a complete installation 
um, on my Canon 100 to 400 Mach 2 L lens, and I'll show you how you put that on um, in a separate video. But again, these are really handy. Why? Why do you want to get camo for your lens? It just protects it, keeps it in good order. So if you want to sell it down the line, it's still in good order. Um, and in cold temperatures, like with the Sigma lens or the Canon lens, where some of it's metal, it can be quite cold on your hands in winter. Uh, having, having some camouflage on your lens, apart from protecting it, um, will keep the temperature um, reasonable. Um, so you don't really need to have gloves, you know, you can just hold it like this and it won't be too cold on your hands, freezing uh, your hands in cold temperatures. Um, and also it camouflages the lens, lets it see less obvious to wildlife what you're holding. You know, wildlife can be quite skittish around people and they may be, might be a bit wary of you holding a big long thing. They might think it's a gun or something and fly away. So it is a good idea to camouflage your equipment. Not only that, it, it holds its value, its resale value. You know, a lens that isn't scratched up is worth more than a lens that it has been scratched a lot. So, um, I just wanted to do a quick video just to describe, talk about lenscamo.co.uk coverings that you can purchase. Um, they're not expensive. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that do some lens camo coverings and you're talking between 50 and 75 pound in general. Now these coverings are relatively inexpensive, you know. Um, so we're talking about 35 pound for the complete covering for the uh, RF 800 lens. Um, for the Sigma covering, which is a bit more complicated than the Canon one because it zooms, um, that's about 30 pound. And I think it's around £30 for the Canon 100 to 400 Obviously this is not the covering I'll be putting on. Um, and they've supplied um, a package for me to put onto my lens. So we'll, we'll check that out and put it on the lens later on today. Uh, they included a sheet on how to do it. So a big thank you to lenscamo.co.uk for supplying that. Um, I'll put links in the description box if you want to go and purchase it from them because um, I think it's really handy th these products. Um, they're actually running a eBay shop. I'll put links to the eBay shop on for you guys if you just want to do it off eBay because it might be easier just to put your PayPal details and purchase it. Um, so I hope this helped you out today in regards to the products that they supply. Um, I'll also put a link to their website if you want to go on their website and have a look at the products they offer. Um, if you're someone who's got one of the big L lenses, like the 500 primes, the 300 primes, 2.8s, f4s, even the 600 f4s, they do have coverings for those lenses as well. Um, I know that some of you guys around the world uh, may have not have suppliers that can do equipment like this for you. But you can go into the eBay shop and you can purchase it and get it delivered to your country. So, you know, this is a good alternative to any of the other companies out there that are a bit more on the expensive side. And you might think £75 is a bit too much to spend. Or I know some, pack some uh, options are about £100 as well. And you might think that's a bit too expensive for a lens camo cover for my lens. But if you go to lenscamo.co.uk or onto the eBay shop, I'm sure you can get something within your price, which I think £30 is quite reasonable uh, for a covering. And I would say it's quite inexpensive as well. So I hope this video helps you out to decide if you think something like this will be useful to you. Um, it just protects your lens, gives it an extra layer of protection um, you're not just relying on a lens hood, a, a UV filter uh, to protect your lens. You've also got a nice covering um, just to keep it from prying eyes as well. Because let's face it, you know, there's a lot of thieves out there who would like to steal your camera equipment. And if you cover it in European camouflage, it's not so obvious. You know, if you think about the Canon primes that are all white, they're very obvious. You can see what they are and they're easy to spot from, from a long distance away. This is where I think Canon shouldn't really 
paint them white because they're quite obvious. So a bit of camouflage on your lens can help disguise it from thieves as well. So I hope this video is informative. Check, check out the uh, me uh, attaching the 100 to 400 Mark II covering in, in another video coming tonight. Uh, I just wanted to do this video to um, you know talk about the coverings. You know they are good quality. Um, I don't have any concerns regarding the cut cutouts, um, whether they're flimsy. Um, I think it's a good product, and you should really check them out. Um, this isn't a plug for the company. I, you know, if I see something that's really good, and I think it's really outstanding, uh, an outstanding product, I will tell you about it, uh, whether it's good or bad. You know, um, getting something for free for me is a rarity these days, and you know, I, I want to be transparent that they have sent me um, a package here for the Canon 100 to 400 Mark II for free uh, in exchange for doing this video. So, um, you know, I just wanted to do a video for them just to promote um, the product they supply because it is a very good product. And if it was bad, I would tell you it's bad, whether they were sponsoring me or not. Um, so, I hope this video informed you about this product. Um, and check out the, um, you know, the unboxing and the uh, install on the 100 Forge Mark II that I'll do shortly. But thanks for watching, and I do appreciate you coming to my channel. Please like the video, subscribe if these videos are informative and help you out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.